Where are the aliens? Where are the aliens? That's one of the, the like the Fermi paradox question. Um, a lot of people have asked me if, if I've seen any evidence of aliens, and I've, I haven't, which is kind of concerning because then I think we'd, I'd probably prefer to at least have seen some archaeological evidence of aliens. Um, to, to the best of my knowledge, there is no proof. I, I'm not aware of any evidence of aliens. If they're out there, they're very subtle. We might just be the only consciousness, at least in the galaxy. Um, and if you, if you look at, say, the history of Earth, what point is to believe the archaeological record? Earth is about four and a half billion years old. Civilization, as measured from the first writing, is only about 5,000 years old. We have to give some credit there to the ancient Sumerians who aren't around anymore. I think it was an archaic pre cuneiform, it's the first actual symbolic representation. But only about 5,000 years ago. I think that's a good date for when, we're, say, civilization started. That's one millionth of Earth's existence. So civilization has been around, it's really a flash in the pan so far. Um, and why, why have we, why did it take so long? For, you know, one half billion years. Um, for the vast majority of the time, there was no life, and, and then there was archaic bacteria for a very long time. And then, you know, you had mitochondria get captured, multicellular life, um, differentiation into plants and animals, life moving from the oceans to land, mammals, uh, higher brain functions. And the sun is expanding slowly, um, but it, it, will, it, will overheat, it will it will heat, heat the earth up at uh, some point in the future, um, boil the oceans. And, and Earth will become like Venus, where, where no life, life as we know it is impossible. So if we do not become multiplanetary and ultimately go beyond our solar system, um, annihilation of all life on Earth is a certainty. A certainty. Um, and it could be as little as <laughs> on the galactic time scale, uh, half a billion years you know, long time by human standards, but th that's only 10% longer than Earth has been around at all. Mm -hmm. So if, if if life had taken 10% longer to evolve on Earth, it wouldn't exist at all. We've got a deadline coming up. <laughs> yeah. Better hurry. But that said, as you said, humans, intelligent life on Earth developed a lot of cool stuff very quickly. So... Yes. It, it seems like becoming multiplanetary is almost inevitable, unless we destroy. We this need thing. to do it. Uh, I mean, it's, it's it's not. I mean, I, I suspect that there, there, if we are able to go out there and explore other star, star systems, that we there's a good chance we find a, a whole bunch of long dead one planet civilizations. Yeah, they never made it past their home planet. That's so sad. Yeah, That's sad. Also fascinating. I mean, there are various explanations for the Fermi paradox, and one is, is the sort of there are these great filters which civilizations don't pass through, and one of those great filters is, do you become a multi-planet civilization or not? And if you don't, it's simply a matter of time before something happens on your planet, um, you know, either natural or man-made, that causes us to die out, like the dinosaurs. Where are they now? They didn't have spaceships. <laughs> so. I think the more likely thing is, because just to uh, uh, empathize with the aliens, that they, they found us and they're protecting us and letting us be. I hope so. Been nice aliens. Just like the tribes in the in the Amazon, the uncontacted tribes were protecting them. That's what... Uh, that would be a nice explanation. Or you could have like, uh, what was it? Uh, I think Andre Kapathi said it's like the ants in the Amazon asking, where's everybody? <laughs> well, they do run into a lot of other ants. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> no, these ant wars. <laughs>